Hi, welcome to the next assembly video for the RepRap Prusa Mendel Iteration 2. In this video, we're going to attach the Greg's extruder, which we assembled in the last video, to the X carriage. And then, um, um, if we have time, we'll install the X carriage uh, to the RepRap. And for this, we'll need the X carriage, uh, two M4 bolts, two M4 nuts, two M4 washers, and an Allen key for those M4 bolts. And uh, now this is um, not the typical X carriage that you get with a RepRap Prusa Mendel. This is something that uh, NorthwestRepRap.com and WRepRap.com supplied in this kit. And um, it's a little bit different. It has uh, four mounts for linear bearings instead of three. And it also has a belt tensioner. Uh, the hole is a little bit bigger here in the center. And it also has 30 millimeter fan mounts on either side. Um, I've used this X carriage before. Um, it is available on Thingiverse and I really like it a lot. So I'm going to go ahead and um, and uh, get this installed here. So first we'll need to put the M4 nuts into the M4 nut holders on the, ex on the extruder. Okay, and um, I'm going to mount the extruder in this orientation on the rep wrap. And then the bed is going to be mounted at, at this orientation, so that the the belts are on uh, this side of the rep wrap, where the motor mount and the idler are. So in order to do that, I'm going to put it on this this direction. And now there's six holes for mounting on the um, X carriage. I'm going to use this hole and this hole, so it's going to be mounted at a bit of an angle. Make sure not to pinch any wires or anything, and then just go ahead and get that lined up. And it's going to be easier to start with uh, with this side since the um, since the stepper motor kind of blocks some of the uh, um, since it uh, gets in the way, it makes it a little difficult to line it up. It gets in, in the way of the nut. So if you do that one first, it'll be a bit easier for you. Okay, found the hole. I'm just going to tighten it up. This really does work best with the um, four millimeter. It's the nut holders on the extruder are designed for four millimeter nuts and bolts, but um, I have successfully used the M3 nuts and bolts to get this mounted before too, so really either does work. Okay, that one's in there, and go ahead and do this side. So the washer goes on there too, by the way, on the bolt. Um, also, you know, you could mount the uh, the X carriage to the wrap wrap and then mount the extruder, but I think it's um, I think it's easier to mount it first. But in the future, you know, you might not. I mean, it might be easier if you ever have any problems that you need to troubleshoot. You might actually have to um, to remove the extruder from the X carriage, and it's probably going to be a lot easier instead of having to undo all those bolts and everything. It'll be a lot easier just to remove the extruder straight from the X carriage while it's attached to the wrap wrap. But for the initial installation, you might as well take advantage of, of installing it um, while it's not attached. I think it's a bit easier. Okay, and tighten these up. You want to make sure that that uh, this doesn't move at all. You don't want any wiggle or anything. You want this to be a real solid assembly here. But don't tighten it so much that you start cracking the plastic. I've done that before. I've tightened it too hard and I've actually cracked the extruder. You don't want to do that. Just tighten it enough so that it's nice and strong and sturdy and doesn't wiggle around at all. That's feeling pretty good right there. I can actually start to hear the plastic kind of crack a little bit. So I know I've got it way too tight there. So I'll stop. That's good. 
and it's not moving at all. There we go. So now we've got the uh, we've got the uh, X carriage mounted to the extruder. It's looking pretty good. Um, at this point, next, um, I am going to go ahead and install a 30 millimeter fan. I found that it really does help with printing. Um, it's just a little tiny fan. It doesn't really take much. Just having some some uh, air blow across the top part of the hot end helps reduce um, the ex the heat exchange between the hot end and the and the upper part of the hot end, and really makes for a consistent uh, print. It really helps a lot. So um, this this particular X carriage does have mounting holes for it, so it's going to be really easy to get that installed. Um, but it is possible to drill holes into the into the standard X carriage to get a fan to fit. And you could probably use a 40 millimeter fan as well. Okay, for this I'm just going to use some I think 14 millimeter. Yeah, some 14 millimeter bolts. 14 millimeter M3 bolts will, will hold this on just fine. Like I said, you can always drill it out if you need to, if you want to install a fan, but fan is completely unnecessary. The printer will print without one. I just think it prints better with one. Just kind of a personal opinion. And you can get these 30 millimeter fans on eBay for pretty cheap. Direct from Hong Kong, baby. Oops. Okay, that's good. That's good enough, and I'll run wires for that later too. So, so as you can see, with that with that thirty millimeter fan, it's you know it's not um, it's just short enough to where it's not uh, going to be interfering with your print, and then it also be blowing right over the hot end here, which is good. On the older J heads, it actually worked probably a little bit better because they were a little bit longer, but I'm I'm pleased that I'm going to have a little bit uh, higher print height. I think it's going to help out with things, so I'm sure the trade-offs are worth it. Okay, let's go ahead and get this mounted to the RepRap. Um, this should be a pretty easy step. <laughs> um, <clears throat> since I don't have to use any uh, any zip ties or anything, it's just going to move these uh, bearings to the outside with this particular uh, X carriage. And then drop it onto the smooth rods, and then pop these uh, linear bearings right into position here. They just slide in once once you get it once you get it mounted on here. Okay, and. Make sure you get them all the way in, but it's not entirely necessary. Okay, so with this particular X carriage, that's it. I don't have to do any zip ties or anything. They fit snug in the in the mounts there, so they're not going to move or go anywhere. And that is lined up so well; it's moving with hardly any resistance at all. That is really fantastic. Wow, I can't wait to see this thing start printing. But. Uh, in the next step, I'm going to install the, the motor on the X end here and the idler on this end, and we'll get the mounts, or uh, the belts mounted to the X carriage. Anyway, it's really coming together. Thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next video. Thanks a lot.